there are lots of people who are applying to leave Canada to go to cheaper countries because they beautiful people welcome back to the canada info channel my name is wolo and i am back again so if you are new to this channel i would say subscribe and give me the thumbs up and to my ogs thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay so my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant i am based in new brunswick i am still a manitoban yes <laughs> okay so i hope your week went well and well it's been busy on my end and we are trying to push things so today's topic i just want to talk about canadian of course i always talk about everything canada immigration and all of that i stumbled on some comments recently about people wanting to leave canada or people planning to leave canada because it's becoming expensive and all of that and all of that and all of that anyway there are lots of people who are applying to leave Canada to go to cheaper countries because they feel that um, they want their dollars to stretch beyond what it's currently giving them in Canada. And I was thinking along the line that while there are people who are leaving Canada, Canada is also working towards streamlining the immigration. I also want to mention that you should not be discouraged if you plan to come to Canada because there are still people who are leaving canada and <laughs> which means immigration will still continue because when you have people leaving canada it starts looking like a revolving door so people are coming in after staying for some time then they leave so canada will still continue immigration because they will still need people it is not like um they are not going to need people of course they need people to replace the people who are leaving you know because i mean the, the economy has to continue so that being said, I want to talk about Prince Edward Island. Even with the ongoing noise making about Prince Edward Island changing policies and all of that affecting people who were already planning to gain their PR status in PEI, they still have something called international recruitment, which <laughs> is funny, right? You have people who are already in PEI who are not able to get their PR status but PEI is also still conducting international recruitment. They've done two international recruitment exercises, one to Dubai for healthcare, and then the other one to the UK for construction workers. And if you check their website, I'll put the details on the screen. They have an international recruitment pool that they've created for people who are outside Canada to be able to uh, um, indicate interest. So if you fall into the category of occupations that they are looking for, what I would recommend you do is be immigration ready. When I mean immigration ready, of course, you must have written IELTS and evaluated your credentials. And that reminds me, I don't know why every time I talk to people, especially about immigrating to Canada, and I ask this question, have you evaluated your credentials? Have you written IELTS? What I hear is no. And I'm asking, okay, so how do you want to manufacture or transport yourself into Canada if you've not done these two things? I mean, yes, people want to ask questions, but then it's better to be immigration ready because when these opportunities come like this, it's only people who are ready that can grab these opportunities. So if you've not written your IELTS, if you've not evaluated the credentials, please do so so that you can be immigration ready. Now, back to Prince Edward Island. So despite all the challenges going on with changing immigration policies and all of that, they still have international recruitment, which they will do this year. And if you check their page, which I'm going to call out, I'm going to list out the occupations that they'll be looking for. They have quite a number of occupations that they are looking for in Prince Edward Island. And these are the occupations which I'm going to call out. Under healthcare category, you have three um occupations caregiver nurse and doctor under education you have early child educators you have elementary teachers you have secondary school teachers under information technology you have web developer you have cyber security you have software developers under the hospitality industry you have housekeeper you have cook under the trucking industry you have truck drivers you have dispatchers and you have heavy duty mechanic under manufacturing you have machine operators manufacturing worker meat cutter under biosciences you have quality control and process engineer so these are the occupations that are eligible under the international recruitment events that they will be organizing going forward this year 
and if you are eligible in any of these occupations i would recommend you go ahead and apply i mentioned that prince edward island is one of the provinces that has the highest age range when it comes to giving provincial nomination and i mean it starts from 18 years to 59 years so it means there's no age limitation in this particular pathway all you need to do is to be immigration ready and be um be eligible in any of the occupations that they are looking for so this is the information i said i would share in this video thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye Happy people, the true of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are, from far and wide we stand on God. Open up. Happy people, the true of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are. From far and wide we stand on God Open up. Our home and our native land